Thank you so much for checking out this free video. If you don't mind, please click like and subscribe. MVP showed up in AEW to confront Prince Nana. It's going to be involved with Swerve Strickland in some way, it looks like. And the guess is that Bobby Lashley is not that far behind. I don't know who else. I haven't heard who else, whether Shelton is involved in this or anything. But uh, it does seem like Lashley is probably on his way. I like MVP. I wonder where he fits. I wonder how soon until he's frustrated. Uh, all of those things that, mm. you know, we wonder about those ex WWE guys who come in and are used to things m moving one way. MVP used to be on creative in WWE. So, he, you know, he, I know he's, he's going to really, want to work his way. He's into a that. really smart guy. Mm -hmm. uh, he has, you know, people. I, I was talking to some folks and they were like, oh, like he's a mid card guy. And I was like, if you remember when he came in, he was like a U.S. champion, like very, very early on. And it seemed like his trajectory was maybe not to, to be the, the top guy, but to be, you know, in the upper tier. And then for what, you know, it kind of fizzled out in, in many, in many moments. And he seemed to be unhappy in others. And then he transitioned to uh, doing what he was doing with Lashley, which I thought he was really good at it. I, I I just don't know. I don't know that Tony Khan's style of keeping acts over is going to be something that MVP kind of agrees with. And so that's my worry. Now, we can't I can't poo poo it until it happens. <laughs> um, and it's the same thing with Lashley. Lashley is. Lashley is not just going to be in meat matches for the sake of being in meat matches. Yeah. He's not going to be a mark for the crowd chanting meat at him. He's going to be want he's going to want to be presented in a particular way. He's so much bigger than everybody else there. Um, you think Mox, you know, <laughs> wrestling with private party and throwing those dudes around like this is a this is even a different level from that. And so, you know, I, I'm intrigued. Maybe Tony has some idea that we don't even know and we, we haven't seen from him yet. He's saving something. Uh, but, you know, almost at the same time that Miro is asking for his release, <laughs> we have Bobby Lashley coming in. So it's, it's yeah. interesting, the timing. The deal seems to be done, like we talked about last week. So there, there's probably yeah. some money there. And a lot of times, Tony's way of... You know, things not working out is just, we just forget about them and move on. So, yeah. uh, uh, but that's a, that's a lot of money to forget about and move on with the, the MVP and Bobby Lashley package coming. So, what'd mm -hmm. you think of MVP, the segment, and kind of the future of what he could be doing? Um, you know, um, it's something different, you know, than the than, than usual has been going on in the last few months. So, I'm, I'm curious to see where it's going to go. Give Swerve a new direction when he comes back. Um, I like that part of it. Um, I hope Lashley comes in because I just want to see how I know he's ma a massive dude. Um, I hope the Hurt Syndicate is uh, Lashley, and I hope Powerhouse Hobbs gets to join that group as well. Mm -hmm, that'd be cool. Um, and I also, I also hope Shelton Benjamin shows up because he's a good wrestler. And you kind of just need that good working wrestler within the group as he, well. He's also just a really smart guy to have mm -hmm. with you. Yeah, he's yeah. seen every he's seen everything. He there's not anything Shelton Benjamin has not seen in the wrestling industry. But you know, I, I think Lashley's a good worker. Actually, I don't think he's a bad worker at all. But you know, Shelton just could add that little extra, you know, to the group. I think in in ring as well, and and you know, and help mentor a young powerhouse Hobbs. And same thing with Lashley and, and MVP. Who knows powerhouse Hobbs for a very long time from his days of working uh, MVP working all pro wrestling shows. So. Um, I think I, I'm just I I'll see how it plays out. I I I worry that like things don't go their way. It's they'll be off TV and you know in Bulgaria with Miro or something like that. You know I don't know where they're gonna be, but uh, the, uh Bobby Lashley will be will have Lex Luger's uh, dream job. Just get yeah. paid to work out and and get yeah. get buff. Yeah, yeah, that's the, exactly <laughs> what's probably going to happen. I mean, knowing the way we we've seen with AEW how it goes, with, and and we'll see how it affects. Like, does this is this another signing or signings that 
kind of drive that initial core audience away because you know they they wanted the alternative to be now you have mvp you have lashley you have you know everyone else that's been coming in and uh which i don't think is a bad thing i think it's you know good to mix things up but you got to mix it with your talent i know swerves their guy hangman you got hangman um Darby, but man, can you imagine Darby and Lashley next to that? That's because because Lashley is so massive. I'm just curious to see him in the ring with other people. You know, just he's gonna he's gonna look here. He's a freak, so it's gonna look. I, funny. I, it's just the thing that I think of is Tony Khan's idea of you know a sickos match is like Bobby Lashley and the Beast Mortos. Oh, God. And, and the Beast Mortos, Mortos is is gonna be like on the top rope and. Bobby Lash is going to be like, come on, bro. We're not doing that. 